Have you been having a cappuccino and cornetto every single day? Yes. <laughs> you did the same thing when you first came here. Oh yeah, I love that. Good morning. It's 6 a.m. <laughs> Look at my face. We woke up at 5 because we're going to Milan and our train is very early. So we have to go to the metro station and then the train station and then we'll go to Milan! We need to go there for work. Actually, initially, they called me. They wanted your girl. I was the one that this, this company contacted. And then they were like, oh wow, so you're married to Brian Briller? Maybe he can come too, like after a few days. I'm sorry, Brian, but he's the YouTuber of the family. So he's always the no, one. Yes, people always want you. They don't want little Sonia candy, but this time they wanted little Sonia candy. So I'm, I'm happy. We're at the hotel real quick. We did the check-in and the guy, like he saw Brian's American passport and he was like, um, do you speak Italian? Is it okay for me to use Italian? But do you know what you said? I was like, see? Si. Okay. No, you were like, yes, of course. We can speak Italian. That's, that's okay. I can speak Italian in English. And he was like, um... Well, he asked me. Of course he asks you in English. He needs to know if you can speak Italian. Oh my god, it's so cute. I love it. Definitely bigger than our Japanese hotels. Okay, we're done. It's 7 p.m. So it was a long day. We got there at 11.30. So 11.30 to 7 p.m. But now we have a full weekend in Milan. I am ready for my first aperitivo. Now our weekend in Milan can start. Now we can start our weekend. Hello everyone, good morning! Sleepy Brian! What's good? I ain't sleepy girl. It's nine, so it's not even that early. And we're about to go meet with our American friend, Keith who came from New Jersey to Italy a little more than a week ago. And he lives in Brescia, so this is his first real time here in Milan. I mean, it's not like I'm an expert, so we'll see Milan together. Which is weird, because he's my friend, and I thought that we would meet either in Rome or in New Jersey, you know? Like, that's the likelihood. No, we're meeting in person for the first time in Milan. We gotta go. Oh, this is cool! All right, I am loving this morning, having a free morning in a city I don't know, and it's urban. It really reminds me of Japan. If you're new to my channel, I have a lot of Japanese vlogs where we would just like explore different cities in Japan. Milan is giving me good vibes, to be honest. I wasn't expecting that, but I'm getting like some energy here. I'm liking it. I see Keith, he's trying to get killed. Don't die. What's up? Hey. First time I see you is first time they see you. Hi. <laughs> because we had a reservation to see The Last Supper and we were a little early, we decided to have breakfast first. You already know Keith because he was in my in one of my previous vlogs, the interview, so he can speak Italian, but you know how my vlogs are usually in English. When did you get here? I mean, Italy. I got here last Wednesday. Have you been having a cappuccino and cornetto every single day? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you did the same thing when you first came here. Oh yeah, I love that. Yeah, me too. If you're from Milan, I'm sorry. I might not be the best host because as you know, I don't really know Milan. I've been here twice for two days each time, so I'm doing my best. And then we got there and we were still early. We were early, so we're having coffee number two. I'm gonna have anxiety in 30 minutes. <laughs> Tell me something interesting so my followers will love you and they'll start following you. So, we're about to see the cena cola, l'ultima cena, which in English is the last supper. However, don't use the word supper because it's old fashioned. We only say dinner. 
I want to ask you a different question. What's the best thing you've eaten in Italy so far? I've actually had quarantine stay three times. Just wow. food every time. <laughs> in, <laughs> in one week? <laughs> yeah, because the family I'm with likes to eat it. But they've also made me a lot of good food. Spaghetti allo scoglio. Mmm, yummy. Risotto alla pescatorra. And both of those are super good. Yeah. I like how I don't have to be in this video. <laughs> You're not the It's American usually me who today. has to get interviewed like, Yeah, hey, what do you think? What do you think? Today we have a fresher yes. American. I got the day off. Fresh face. <laughs> wow, this so, painting is gorgeous. It's so beautiful. I can't believe we're here seeing it in person. It's like, <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> I can't believe it. What happened? Some stupid stuff and they didn't let us in. We probably made a mistake in the reservation process and... and I blame COVID. I have a very busy and fun day planned. So next stop is the Duomo. Keith, go you're gonna be amazed. So Keith finds it interesting that we have potable, drinkable fountains in the middle of the city. Super interesting. <laughs> Not exist in America. It's the little thing, really. It's nice to have fellow American for once. Finally, we finally. can speak English instead of. Italian. You always speak English with me. Brian can be understood. I want to be in a group speaking English. Anytime it's just me, you, and anyone else, it's oh, ma che dici. Yeah, true, but when it's just the two of us. I don't have to speak broken English with you. I. No, Sonia's the best at English. Let's be real. Thank you, Keith. They better know I'm joking. Sonia's English is better than mine. Sonia's English is out of this world. Okay, I like English this. English is equivalent to. <laughs> LeBron's basketball skills. Wow, I love this part of Sonia's the vlog. English is like the Ricky Machina that we didn't say. <laughs> that Sonia's, we didn't say. Sonia, Sonia's English is like this Capella Sistina oh, okay. of Michelangelo. That's enough. That's enough. Thank you. If Sonia's English was an iceberg. If <laughs> Sonia. Thank you, guys. <laughs> better than Rome. <laughs> she had always been hating on Milan. Like, I'm Roman. Yeah. We have art. We walked a little bit and we had lunch in Brera. Keith wanted pizza, the famous Milan pizza, and I had pasta and fish. Lunch break, and I want to say something. I definitely noticed that in Milan, people care about fashion more. Oh my god, Brian's cotoletta is huge. Okay, people care about fashion way more than in Rome. And I'm like questioning my style because it's very simple, like jeans and t-shirt. And here people are like out of a magazine. Do you think that people are in general more fashionable here than in America? Like what do you oh, think about yeah. Italian, Italian fashion? For sure. It's very interesting. I can tell that it's different. Definitely European. Brian and I would actually be wearing shorts today. If we were in but because we're here, we're trying to conform to the fashion. And, uh, siamo alla moda. So. We appreciate that. Yes. We're hungry. We walked in Brera and we got to Porta Garibaldi to see the modern part of Milan. People, I'm really enjoying Milan. I love the energy, the shops, the places. It, Milan makes me want to spend money. I wish I was rich to buy everything and eat everywhere. If only we were rich like Brian. Are you having fun? Yes. Is this interesting to you or is it too modern? No, it's very interesting. I think it's pretty cool. It's very well done. Okay, good. Because I know that maybe in America and the US you have a lot of modern cities and not a lot of very ancient cities, but I hope that this is still interesting. It is, because at least in the super big cities that are very modern, like New York, everything's huge and intimidating. But even here, even though it's modern, there's still a lot of like open space and breeze. And it's nice. huh. I like that. We're tired. 
we were tired because at that point we had been walking for a few hours so we rested a little bit and then we went to see the new Starbucks okay so Keith just told me that these don't exist in America really no, it's amazing you can't get coffee in America what about the movies when you know the people are waiting at the ER and they're like let's go get a coffee oh not really no <laughs> I don't think it's as common as it is here. Wow. I've never seen this no with all the options yeah but <laughs> let's not have this best coffee in the movie <laughs> okay okay I know Starbucks is American but still my friends from Milan recommended going there because they were like it's different and I have to agree and even Brian and Keith were really impressed it was definitely definitely different very beautiful but it didn't have that cozy feel vibe environment that usually Starbucks has made it yay there are too many places I don't think I can pick one so many places if I lived there I think I would try a different place every week probably I don't know what he's doing he's literally communicating with a hand off a wall maybe that's a famous thing Keith really wanted to go to Navigli for his first Italian aperitivo. They gave us a lot of food and very, very big drinks. Sonia. After our first aperitivo, we decided to have a second aperitivo with a friend of mine who lives in Milan. So Keith is leaving, we're having a second aperitivo. We have to return to Brescia to my host family. But Subscribe to the blog. I will leave the link to his channel below. Send the keys. Bye, keys. This is my friend who lives in Milan, and because he's very shy, and I don't think he will like it, now he is part of this vlog. Photobomb. You look creepy. <laughs> day three, final day, Milan. Look at my face. I am so tired, and you know girls but this morning I want to have a perfect Italian accent and so when I ordered my croissant I was like per me una brioche per favore <laughs> and I was like okay I'm saying brioche because I know that in Milan they say brioche but in Rome we say cornetto oh my god I can't just keep talking look at my face <laughs> I'm better than this I love the metro system in Milan. This reminds me so much of Tokyo. It reminds me of Taiwan, actually. We decided to go visit Cimitero Monumentale and honestly, it was surprisingly beautiful. I didn't think it would be this interesting. This cemetery is very beautiful, but it's making me sad. I'm thinking about death a lot. I'm getting a little emotional. I think I'll need to go do something fun after this. Here we are in Paolo Sarpi, I think, visiting Chinatown. I want to eat in every single restaurant and Brian's like, I want burgers. I'm like, oh, I don't want a burger. I'm in Chinatown here, I want to eat at a, Chi a Chinese restaurant. It's because there's a special burger place called Burgettes. Seems good. I can't have a burger, so... And then... Problems of a meat-eating vegetarian couple. That is how Better than McDonald's? Maybe it's just a fly. Really? Yeah. I mean, probably yeah, better than McDonald's, but it's also way more expensive, so it better be better. That's true. It's like that little burger, and trust me, it's little. 14 euros. and we're about to take our train to go back to Rome. It's been a fun, fun weekend. I'm so glad you came too. Good times. He wasn't good supposed times. to come at the beginning. And overall, I'm leaving with a very good third impression of Milan. Milan makes me want to have more clothes. Good times. See you next time. I'll be back. I'm even considering like maybe living here for two or three months. That would be fun. I'm considering living here forever. Thank you for watching guys. Subscribe to the channel. Subscribe, subscribe to, to my Instagram. Good. Bye. Okay. I've been tasked with holding Sonia's camera so she doesn't know I'm filming this. So hello Sonia while you're editing.